Hi guys, in this video, we are going to write a function for this hacker rank challenge here. It's called time conversion. And the function is going to be able to convert any time written in 12 hour AM PM format to military 24 hour time. So let me switch my view as I always do. And this is the function. So the return data type is string. The name of the function is time conversion and the parameter is called s and it is a string parameter if i scroll down here they show us the inputs so we are going to receive the time like this 07 for the hours 05 for the minutes and 45 for the seconds and pm yeah because it's simply 12 hour formats we are going to process that string and return 19 for the hour 05 for the minutes and 45 for the seconds that's it without any am or any pm at the end. This is the uh, codes that they've provided us. They just get a string, read the inputs, then they pass that inputs to our function, store the results, and then they output the results. So I could write this code from scratch, but in fact, I have already done that. So I'm just going to grab my solution here from my gist. It's on GitHub. I'm going to link that to the description of my video. And uh, please don't forget to give this a star just to support me to keep sharing my solutions. So I'm going to come here and then paste it. And now I'm going to explain that line by line. So in fact, um, I think I copied the name of the function as well. So let me copy everything properly. All right, this is our function. Here I'm creating a string. It's called our string. Now I'm using the sub str method on the string. If you check here, sub str, it says returns a newly constructed string object with its value initialized to a copy of a substring of this object. So if this sounds a bit fancy to you, basically what I'm doing is I'm capturing the first two characters of the S string here. So if you pass this 07, whatever, what I'm grabbing is 07 from that string. That's why I'm saying substring should be from position zero and the first two characters. Now I want to get that's number that I just extracted as an integer. So I'm using the s to i function. It's a C++ function. And um, I'm passing it my our string, which is a, a string variable, to get that value as an integer. And then I'm going to store that in the int variable called our. Now I want to find out, am I working with a time that is in AM formats? Is it AM or is it PM? So for that, I want to find inside my string. Can I find PM inside my string? If I can, then this is going to evaluate to true because I was able to find it. And in this case, I want to add 12 to my hour value here. The reason why I add 12 is because if it's PM time, then um, if, for instance, you pass 07, I want to add 12 to it to get 19. Likewise, if it's 9 PM, then I want to get 21 in military um military format. So I have hour plus 12 here, and then I convert it back to a string and I update the value of my hour string here. But I'm only doing that if after adding 12, the value is not 24. The reason why I'm checking that is because if it's 12 p.m., I don't want to add 12 to it to get 24. I only want to add it if it's from one all the way to 11, because that's when I will get from 13 to 23, which is valid hours. Um, in military um, 24 hour time. So if I was not able to find PM, then I'm 100% sure that I'm working with AM time. And in that case, I want to check if the time is 12, like 12 AM, for instance, then I want to change that to midnight by having zero, zero. And the reason why I have zero, zero is because every uh, hour here has a zero, it starts with a zero. If it's less than 10, then it's preceded with a zero, that's why. So when I'm done, I just want to grab my initial S string here, which would be in this case, this one, 07.05.45 PM. I want to grab that, but replace the 07 here with my new hour value here. The hour string has been updated after we've, we've run through these conditional statements. The hour string is going to get updated. So that's what I want to, to grab right here. And then I update it, I replace these first two characters, 07 with 19. And then I erase the PM at the end by calling dot erase here 
It's a method also in C++. You can read more about that on C++.com. I think I've used it uh, previously in one of my hacker rank challenges. But anyway, I just pass it the end of my string minus two. So the last two characters are going to get deleted. And that is what I'm returning here. So let me run my code now. And we pass uh, test case zero. You can see this is our output. This is the expected output. It's the same thing. I'm now going to submit this code. And you can see we just pass all the various test cases. So that's it for the algorithm for the time conversion problem on HackerRank. I hope it was easy for you guys. Um, stay tuned for the uh, next tutorial. I'll catch you next time. Bye.